Hi everyone, Dr. Taylor Hartman back again, this time with a segment on the Reds. Now I want you to remember that if you want to ask questions, you have hashtag AskDrHartman and put those at the bottom under comments and I'll get back to you with these things. This is an exciting time, we're kind of launching it, uh, relaunching the color code because so many people have been asking more about this to use it in their lives and many people are saying to me, where were you 25 years ago? when I was raising my kids, I wish I had known this, or when I was dating, I wish I had known this. So we're gonna talk about each of the colors and what their strengths are and their limitations. Every personality has wonderful strengths and horrible limitations. And what's funny about this is today we're gonna to talk about the reds. The reds will feel this right here. Others that are not red will say, that's very, very insightful because I see that about people, but they don't feel it because it's not who they are. The reds are driven by power, A to B get things done, make things happen. They really, it is like choking a red when you don't let them accomplish things. When you make them just kind of float. Uh, there's a red personality that I was play, always played in tennis. He was better than me. He could always beat me. The only way I beat him was when I said, let's just hit the ball. When we didn't keep score, there was no A to B. He got so frustrated that when I finally said, okay, let's play now, let's, count, let's, call, let's call a game, then he would lose because in his brain, he was so frustrated with how I had just kind of played and not really kept score. Red people care, they count, they count. Like they like to know what's gonna happen and they like to know, they like to be responsible for what they said they're going to do. They love to hold you accountable. You said you'd do this, why didn't you? Very direct kind of people, typically articulate, some are very introverted, but often a red personality will speak, they'll get in your face and tell you what you need to know. Reds are quite assertive. I learned this, for example, when I was first traveling a lot with business, and you go to a hotel room, at a lobby, and you make reservations for the night. So you show up and the clerk says, we don't have room for you. And if you're red, I promise you, you get a room. It's not your problem, it's the clerk's problem. If you're a blue, you'd feel guilty. Like if you're Jewish and blue, then you write, you write it off because you're always guilty. But blues feel like I should have called earlier. I should have confirmed again. Whites are very relaxed. They say, I'll take the couch in the lobby. Wake me if you get a room. And the yellows have a conversation with the clerk for an hour about nothing. And then they still don't get a room for the night, but the clerk takes them home. So the reality is we all have different ways of getting through life. But what I learned from the reds that I love is how to be assertive. It's not emotional. You just speak to the facts. Here's what needs to happen, here's why it's going to happen, and you stand your ground. Reds really only respect people who are articulate, like them. If you don't hold your own, then they don't respect that and they'll run over you. They're very decisive. Reds make decisions well, and by the way, if the decision doesn't work out, they don't care. That was bad, we'll do something better now. And they move on. They're not gonna stay stuck feeling bad about what they did. On the other hand, you need to know that while reds don't show you this, they beat themselves up inside all the time. They're very confident. Confident comes from doing. Reds do. But inside, they could be very hard on themselves and they'll never show you. Why would they give you anything that would make them feel vulnerable? That's probably the hardest thing Reds do in life, is become vulnerable. I have met many red, red men that are very successful in business telling me that their wife is the most important person in their life. And when I tell her wife, she goes, that's news to me. I wouldn't have known that. But the truth is that when a red lets you in, it's very rare and it's typically very deep. But they're not real comfortable exposed, exposing themselves. And reds are very disciplined. Like they're good at routines that you set, you're going to do something, then you do it. And that's also where they're hard on themselves. If they don't perform with what they say they're going to do, they're not nice about that. They're very logical. When a red meets you, they're assessing, what good are you going to do for me? What positives are you going to bring to my life? Where could you become a problem for me? When reds date, for example, they're always looking to say, does this make sense? This is a good place to go. It's funny, for many, many years, I would have a great career, and reds would say to me, are you saving money? And I would say, why would I save money? We're just enjoying our life. And they said, you need money for the future. My retirement today is a gift of reds. Reds told me, plan for the future, but live for today. Now, quite frankly, Reds have a hard time living today, like going on vacation. Many Reds have a hard time just playing in the moment because they're thinking, what, what should we do tomorrow? They want to make sure they get everything taken care of that they're supposed to do, and they're also worried about back at home, 
back at the office. So they struggle more with just living the day. But the thing they give me is vision, kind of a future sense plan for what life's going to look like down the road. Reds are very proactive. They don't get depressed. They make you depressed, perhaps, but they don't get depressed because it doesn't do them any good. They're very proactive. How can I solve this problem? What can I do to fix this thing? And they're very productive. I always like having a red on my team because they can't breathe if they're not getting things done. That's one of the beauties of good, good reds. Very pragmatic. Does it make sense or doesn't it? They don't get all emotionally tied up in a, a knot over something nearly as much as let's just solve the problem and move on. Now, some of the negative things about reds are they can be very selfish. You know, they're always asking what's in it for me. What am I going to get out of this? Really hard are teenagers that are red because teenagers are so insecure and it's a very selfish time anyway. And then you've got a red kid pushing you saying, you're the reason my life doesn't work or you're making my life difficult. Another thing about reds is they're very bossy. They tell you what to do. They don't realize they're doing it. They just tell people what to do because they see it and they think you ought to do it. And they can be intimidating. Most red people say, how am I intimidating? Because they live inside themselves and they know they're inadequate, but they come across very demanding of you and expecting you to do things. And people often have a hard time telling reds what they really think because the consequence could be pretty deadly. Reds love to argue, love to argue. I mean, to them, argument is nothing but just, um, we're just exercising here. I'm just learning what you think and you're getting to hear what I think. And they love to debate. It's so much fun for them. But other personalities, especially blues, who take things personally, it kills the red. Because the red's going, I'm just arguing a point. It has nothing to do with whether I like you or not. Reds can be always right. I think it's in your DNA. You reds, it's so funny. You always think you're right. Now, often you are. But what you forget is, you're not always. And if you think you're always right, and I disagree with you, that means I'm always wrong, which is not cool. It is funny, though. i got to tell you the truth. There's such a thing as a smart red and a dumb red. So they're both red. They both are power-based. They both think they're right. The smart red does know what's happening. The dumb red doesn't, but still thinks that they're right. And that's a tough one. If you married one of them, we owe you for life for taking them off the street. Thank you. Um, very, and reds can be very aggressive very in your face, very demanding. It's fun to watch a lot of red fathers at kids' soccer games. They can't help themselves. I mean, these kids are like nine years old, but you would think it was the NFL. And these reds get in people's face and they have to give their perspective. They have to make their point, okay? So red personalities, they need to, they need to be productive. They need to be right. They need to be respected. They need adventure. They need challenging things in their life or they get bored very easily. Um, I, I can't imagine life without a Reds. They were the ones that were hardest for me in the beginning. I often would say, dear God, take them home. They're just bugging me. I'm trying to live my life and they keep pushing me. Today, they are the easiest personality for me to relate to. I never have an issue with Reds. I get them. I understand where they're coming from. I understand what they're about. And they can be a remarkable asset to any team when you want to win. Thank you so much for being with us today. Good luck. Enjoy reading about the Reds more. And if you have questions, hashtag Ask Dr. Hartman. Very best of living.